denying that some of the experts that were on this podcast are credentialed, right? But it doesn't mean that credentials can't, you know, credentials don't create immunity for what you say. You're still held to a standard of speaking in a way that doesn't cause harm uh, if you're a medical physician. <laughs> um, and you're still expected to kind of follow the process of how we do scientific debate, which is in the form of peer review research, right? We have a system. Explain a little more of what that means, because I hear what you're saying, but you're still saying in a way that's very sciencey, and I want it to be a little clearer for yeah. the, the average person like myself who doesn't carry a master's in what you do. <laughs> so I think what I mean by that is the fact that science, of course, is something that scientists mull over and debate and agonize mm -hmm. over the data and try to understand. And we do that in a way that involves accountability. And that process is, you know, in a simple way to describe it is the peer review process. You kind of do your research, you submit it and you say, hey, is this, check my work. Can you come up with the same results using my methods? Is this reproducible? Is this mm -hmm. a way I can say in any part of the world, if I have these controls on my experiment, we're going to come up with the same result and we can unanimously say, okay, this test or this whatever thing we're testing um, is reliable, is something that we can have consensus on. The power of scientific consensus can't be lost here. And where mm -hmm. I think what's 